All right, guys, how's it going? Colin Holt Outdoors here. As you know, another unboxing. I know. I know. I get it. But these ones are goose. I got a hell of a deal on these ones. These are Bigfoot B2 goose decoys. I have never used these, so I just saw a deal. And look how big this box is. This thing's massive. There's uh, six of them in here. <coughs> and for a six pack, I paid like, I think it was like 140 on Cabela's website. Ooh, and they're fully flocked. Cannot be flocked decoys at all. All right, so let's see what these look like. <clears throat> the tail's not flocked, but the head's flocked. Feet. Here's a sentry. Body. Pretty nice. Another feeder. This one's like a semi upright. The tails are not flocked, just the heads are. But hey, I'll take it. They're nice. Man, these are super nice looking. And... Oh, there's two more. Another one looking up. Wow, this one's a big one. It's a big one looking up. These are pretty nice. So you got one bowl, this one's the bowl. You got two feeders, two uprights, and one rester. It's cool, put these on like a little edge of a pond and you're good to go, man. Legs just go like this. Oh. In. 
they're kind of squishy. So that's good. All right, so here's their feet. So these, it looks like you can run a couple different ways, which I will show you here in a few. I don't know, but they're all different, which is cool. So, we will look and see. Bigfoot decoys are really durable as well. That's why I was like, ah, yeah, it's time to buy some. I got a few spots this year that, a few walk-ins I know. Two of these ones, and then you have two of them that have some stakes. So I'm not for sure. So I'm gonna take it at this one. have to figure it out but yeah there's some that are different than others like this guy this guy right here should just be a regular drop down up in here sometimes you just gotta hit them a little 
But yeah, you guys get the point. So these are mine. I'll figure them out and then I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, I got them figured out. One of these ones, these feeders, I'll show you. So the steak is right in here. And this is supposed to like move with the wind. So I got my two feeders, a couple resters, my dock ones, and look at that. So, yep, I am ready. And then I got my goose floaters. No more decoys. The only exception is I'm not gonna buy any more duck decoys. I might buy another dozen or two of uh, goose, like full bodies, not like, these are the Bigfoots. I'm probably just gonna get the ones that have the stakes, like the bulk decoy club. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about these. They seem to, they seem to work pretty decent. I mean, they look good, that's all that matters, so. Those duck ones, man, they look pretty tight. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.